All right. Well, I figured eventually I'd make a video taking a manifold apart. How I do it. Uh, maybe help some of you guys do your dual pass in plates and stuff like that. So may not be the way everybody do, does it or agrees with it, but we'll go over, give her a shot. 10 millimeter. Get a bowl or something, keep your parts together. Uh, looks like it's a little corroded. Might be a little bit to get off. Use a screwdriver. I use it in that crevice back there. Try not to get under the plate or too far in. The green gasket, you don't want to hurt that. Twist it up. And I use my front fingers on the front nipples to, to rock it. No hurry. No reason to get in a hurry. And then once it's loose, just kind of play with it every direction a little bit. There we go. So that's off. And still, a lot of times corrosion gets down in here. And you want to be careful not to jerk the gasket out and hurt it. So just peel it up real slow. Make sure it ain't snagging on nothing. And it actually is coming out real nice. So put that in your basket, in your bowl. You take your O-rings off. Don't, I don't reuse them. Some people do. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is pull out all the cores because I'm doing a single pass. Uh, I would suggest pull all your cores out anyways and clean them. They get oily after 100,000 miles. You can get a magnet. Be real easy with the washers. Thin ones, they're pretty easy to bend. Get your nail under it, pop them up. There those are off. So, how I do it, not how everybody does it. I use a piece of blue towel from the shop towels you buy. And I cover up the ends of them. This one, I don't think it's ever been apart, so use a hose clamp as close as possible, as round as possible. Don't get it a one that's too out of whack. And tighten it up, get it over. You don't want to tighten it any more than you really have to. So get it kind of snug. And let me get a pliers. So, you see how I got it there, and grab it, got it kind of close to the other one, and I could see the towel and the core moving with me, so we're good on how tight it is. Pull up with it, just wiggle gently, again, not in a hurry, and I'll just go ahead and take that out. And the O-rings and the washers stayed in there. Pretty dirty core. We'll clean it real good. Brake fluid, hot water. Put that down. <clears throat> I use a piece of welding wire. You can use a coat hanger. I just get down in there and fish out the parts I need. So that's the skinny washer. And thick washer. And then the O-rings sometimes are pain in the butt to get out. And there you go. And then just repeat the process for each one of them. I'll do one more on the video. And oh. Remember, just not tight at all. I mean, you want it just snug enough where you start to feel resistance. That might be a little loose, but I'll show you 
you can tell when the core is not moving with the clamp. Well, broke free, so that one's pretty, pretty simple. Sometimes I've had about two to three cores give give up a pretty good fight. And if you start seeing the clamp spinning, you can tell it's not taking the core with it. Tighten it up just a little bit more until it quits. So, I mean, anybody that has a problem with it, you can see there's not even a mark on the core. It's fine, no dents, no issues. So, then you just repeat for each one, clean them real well cleaner they are the better and I'll show you how to do one more thing a lot of oil in there from the PCB I don't know if you can see it or not but inside there's a little lip on the PCB valve take your screwdriver on that lip and just pry up on it that pops out your PCB valve so hopefully this helps somebody and I might put a video together about how to assemble it or how do I assemble them. And there you go. Thanks, guys.